Okay, this is going to be a quick little video on uh, the cartographer. Let me go back here a second. Game is Stranded Deep. Uh, it's, a, I guess, an indie game uh, with a small team developing it. Uh, they have a tool built into the game called Cartographer. It allows you to build uh, maps for this survival game. It's a survival game set in the Pacific Ocean. You're basically stranded on an island or a series of island islands and uh, you're supposed to survive. So I'm just gonna make a quick video on how to do some editing. It's not really a how-to. I just kind of want to go over some of the features and talk about some of the limitations. Uh, this, this is an existing uh, cell that I've created. It's just a, a little shipwreck uh, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the Some of the problems uh, that I'm going to try to correct today are these... Uh, let me get it in the object selection. These scrap pieces of metal um, collide when the cell is loaded uh, because their bounding box, I'm assuming, is uh, colliding with each other. Their, their bounding boxes are colliding. They're too close, essentially, but there's no way to tell that within the editor. The editor lacks that feature um, and it lacks a settling feature to uh, allow you to uh, kind of have the physics engage for a brief moment. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that they are... Uh, ooh, that's much faster. Um, that they're floating above the, the geometry of the ship. We're going to try to get it so that they don't, uh, they don't fly away from each other. That's so we space them from each other and space them from the ship. And hopefully, by doing that, um, we won't end up with these, these pieces of metal flying out into the surrounding ocean. <laughs> um, basically, my theory is that the, the, their bounding boxes are loading up in collision and therefore they're going from zero to whatever uh, force is being applied to them to separate them uh, very quickly. So same with these tires, they don't, uh, they don't all come in where you expect them and then um, the scrap plank, um, basically I've packed everything in here too tight for their bounding geometry. So I need to kind of space things out and there's, since there's no way to tell whether or not I'm actually fixing the problem by doing these adjustments, I have to actually play around with it and then um, save it, load it up into the game and, uh, and go from there. So, uh, just kind of adding more space. It's kind of sad you can't settle these objects before beforehand. And I don't know why I had planks here before or something. I don't remember what I had here. Maybe buckets or something. Um, and those got converted to the clay bricks. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. A uh, little funny package thing. Uh, I don't remember putting that there. Maybe its ID got swapped with something else, but that's fine. Um, let's see if we can tuck these in there a little better. I don't remember if these had a problem or not. I'll have to pay attention to these next time I load up the game.
Yeah, so R sets the object to rotate, T sets it to translate, uh, which just means move. Um, let's see. That's probably a little high. I'm probably not really helping these out all that much. I have no idea how much space they occupy uh, as far as the game is concerned. But uh, I'll go ahead and clone this one a couple of times. Rotate it. Tweak it. Hopefully, uh, we solve some of the problems. These just pop <laughs> uh, when the this cell loads and you come close to the island. It just blows up. And I don't know how I ended up with all these trees, uh, but it certainly wasn't my goal. Uh, it should have just been this one tree. I'm going to sink that down a bit. take a look we'll take a look here see how that oh I know what those bricks were those bricks were steel and they replaced steel with clay bricks so that makes sense okay all right I think we're good we're gonna go into the game see if any of those tweaks help and uh, to update the map with the new version and uh, where is shipwreck shipwreck is to the northwest of my blue lagoon okay so i'm gonna apply those changes go back start a new game with the existing map if you hit random it'll just clear out those changes <laughs> it's a little loud that out. Alright, uh, here we are next to the starting island. I gotta find... there's my blue lagoon, so the shipwreck should be over some way over there. So uh, I'll go in with the dev console, devtools.god, puts it in god mode, and I'll fly away. I'll give you a flyby of this blue lagoon island. So this is just a shallow lagoon kind of island I made, just playing around with the tools, kind of learn them a little better. And uh, it's got a little rowboat and a sunken boat and some stingrays and some marlins. So here is our shipwreck. Alright, let's see how that did. Well, one of them is mistranslated, or maybe it's falling. Uh, that's fine. If it's falling, that's acceptable. Kind of looks, kind of looks right. Kind of looks like it's falling apart. Um, I'm actually fine with that. And take those. Yeah. Let's see. If, yeah, it's just hanging on there. That's cool. So that actually did kind of fix it with the empty hand. Um, am I missing some wood? Some wood here, some planks. Did it go flying away? Can't remember how many are placed there now. Well, it certainly looked like most of them survived. Down to one tree, that's good. One, two, three planks, four planks. Up front. Uh, and one, 
two, three, four, five, six. Did I count that right? Five. Five planks in the back. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. I think that's good enough. So that'll be the end of this video.